Hey folks, okay, I got a quick video today, just want to talk a little bit about this new iPhone SE that came out, well, that was announced yesterday by Apple. A lot of people, I'm looking at the social medias today, and a lot of people are just, I see, uh, it's an old design, it's lazy, it's a ripoff, it's got a 720p camera, why can't they come up with something new, etc., etc., and... Sometimes this kind of boggles the mind for me because here's here's what was pretty clear to me when I was looking at the iPhone SE as they were announcing it yesterday. It is clearly not made for the folks who are going to buy, say, the iPhone 13 or the iPhone 13 Pro, Pro Max, whatever. It's not made for that. It's made for the people who still want to use touch id and and just won't won't buy an, another iphone won't buy another iphone at all uh because touch id is is not available there uh some people are like well why can't they update the the iphone 8 design it's just the iphone 8 design <laughs> i why would they why would they uh, you got to understand that this is apple's version of a budget iPhone 429 for an iPhone with the latest processor, upgraded camera, etc., etc. I mean, that's that's a pretty incredible deal. I mean, let's just walk through some of what we can get with this new iPhone. I mean, 429, and then you've got the A15 chip. You've got two more hours of battery life compared to the iPhone 8. You've got 5G for the first time in an iPhone SE. You've got a, a better design in terms of like the glass that they have on there and everything. It's more durable. And I can tell you from having the iPhone SE uh, Gen 2 that that glass is not was not very durable. Uh, just give it to a teenager and see. Uh, better camera and the home button. That's who they're selling to. They're selling to the people who have the desire to keep the home button in their lives. The phones that they were talking about when they were talking about this phone, the phones they were comparing this phone to were the iPhone 8, the iPhone 7, and the iPhone 6S, okay? And one of the things that they said was that the this iPhone will be supported for many years to come. They obviously their research tells them that's an important thing to the people who are buying these phones. and. Think about this. If they're targeting the people who are still using the iPhone 6S, the iPhone 6S came out in 2015. That phone is almost seven years old, still supported by Apple. So what they're saying is you can get the phone with the features that you like, maybe the form factor that you like, maybe the size that you like, and you can keep it for the next five plus years, maybe even seven years before it starts to show its age. It, it, the battery life is, this is what kind of boggles my mind. It, the fact that in days gone by, if Apple had actually made a phone that catered to the uh, a certain niche of their market, and they made it at a reasonable price, and they gave those people the features that they wanted, we would have celebrated this but i see i see people complaining on social media that a 720p screen etc etc could they do better yes and they do on all the other phones that they make but those phones are not this phone and this phone is not for people who would want to buy those phones so can we just leave the iPhone SE alone? Can we just agree that Apple is actually doing a good thing here by, by making a phone that caters to this very small niche of their customer base that gives them a phone that's affordable? I, this would be a great phone for kids. This would be a great phone for older adults. This would be a great phone for anybody who doesn't, for whatever reason, want to get into a bigger phone or a different sized phone or a different shaped phone or a phone that doesn't have the touch ID button. So I'm actually, I, I mean, I barely paid attention to the iPhone SE as it was announced. I was just like, oh, okay, great, fine. They just updated the iPhone SE. They're going to give it the most recent chip. They're going to upgrade the camera. They're going to give it better battery life. That's great. 
for the people who want an iPhone SE. And uh, and I just kind of went on. That wasn't the most important thing about the event yesterday. And then I just started seeing people complaining about the fact that it wasn't more than it was. It's not meant to be. And that's kind of what I just wanted to stop in here and discuss for a few minutes. So let me know what you think down in the comments. We'll have that boisterous discussion as we always do. I, I'm happy to see the iPhone SE sticking around. I'm happy to see Apple bringing more reasonably priced models out in in you know succession so that they're always there and available for people who need or want those phones. Uh, yeah, let's talk down in the description below. But otherwise, uh, thanks so much for being here. My name's Jason, and until the next time, I'm out.